The approaching train just called out NS212 Clear Whirly. That's the one with the UP leader there on track one, NS212. Now, if I focus on what I'm focusing on, there we go. Triple Crown trailer. The uh, southbound that is apparently waiting to either proceed or cross over behind 212 is probably 237 I'm guessing I'm not sure It is 2.37, I just heard him on the radio. Let's see if I can go up here and get a little bit better look at his power as he starts to get underway. Twenty-seven fifty-nine, twenty-six thirty-one, and can't really make up. There goes the start up on the third unit. So we get up here a little further, get the number on that first unit. Looks like it's twenty-six something. Should be in a SD seventy M, I believe. Twenty-six seventy-eight. Uh, so, yeah.
more or less going downhill for, uh, towards downtown Greenville, so shouldn't be too hard. I don't, I don't know if this is exactly quite to where they're going downhill yet, but by the time they get up there uh, around that curve at Worley, they're definitely headed downhill after that between Worley and North Greenville. Loaded auto racks on 237, pretty much usually going to be BMWs because there's a plant in Greer, South Carolina, where a lot of those get built. I guess since 237 comes out of the port of Charleston, though, you'd have imports coming in from the coast too. So, uh, and I know I know a lot of the uh, auto racks out of Greer get bought in, brought into Greenville nowadays in the mornings by the P73 local you get bought in, brought into Greenville. So they actually wouldn't have been added to the train yet. They'll be added at, at, at Greenville. So um, they're not to the place where they'd be added yet. So maybe I actually have that backwards. Maybe the ones you see on 237 are ones that came in from overseas at the Port of Charleston. And it's not until they get past Greenville, south of Greenville, where you start seeing the auto racks have been added from the BMW plant. Either way, 237 terminates at Atlanta. Atlanta's a big intermodal hub. Makes sense because it's a, one of the largest cities not on a waterway, so they can't exactly have a cargo port that would uh, drop off containers by ship or barge. So a lot of uh, Norfolk Southern's intermodal trains either begin or terminate in Atlanta. There's there's some few there's some through trains as well, but the majority of the intermodals that go through Atlanta are ones that uh, are go to it that go to Atlanta. Basically, they, they terminate there, and then a lot of the intermodal routes obviously then would uh, originate there, going back the other direction to the same places. Lots of empty well cars today. So we'll have plenty of wells to set those inter, uh, intermodal containers in, in Atlanta or wherever those will get sent on to from there.
a little hard to do that handheld. <laughs> I'll try. Now that's that's a thing to do with a tripod there. These long zoom shots. At least the tracks stay in the same place. So you point in the direction of the tracks, you can get it. You get zoomed out too far, just a little bit of you move from breathing or anything. We'll throw it off. <laughs> 